Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here now to fill our journal. So I've been busy making all sorts of bits of ephemera here and I'm just going to kind of work my way through the journal filling little bits and pieces. I don't know whether I've got enough here to fill the journal. I know it looks like an incredible amount of stuff but honestly and truthfully, you know, once you do start filling it up, it's surprising how little you actually do have, you know, um, you think you're kind of sorted and then actually once you got, start filling, you know, I don't find it necessarily goes as far as you hope. Um, so we just get sort of filling and doing any sort of extra bits that need doing, um, any of those kinds of things. So I'm just going to put these to one side and we'll just kind of work our way through. Obviously we've got this page here, which I think we made, yeah, two sort of pockets. So, I mean, as you can see, at that rate, it's really going to, you know, take a lot of stuff and it will not be long before we've already run out of things to actually put in here. So, that being the case, what I'm going to also do is include, um, you know, journaling cards and things like that that are, you know, um, just printables and things. Because otherwise, you know, really, you just have a phenomenal amount of things to, to fill it with. So I've got a couple of my birdsong cards there, um, they're just kind of printed out and then I'm just going to include probably some of my Victorian ephemera. I'm just having a look through my my little um, you know, box here that I've got sort of ready, some pieces ready cut out. So I'll just bring it in so you can see what I'm doing, otherwise it's a bit dull for you guys isn't it, just me telling you what I'm doing. So, I mean, I'm just going to take anything that's quite neutral. I don't want anything, you know, with the ladies on or anything like that necessarily. It's more things that are either neutrally or, you know, bird related, things like that. Um, or the greens and yellows, the, you know, the colours that we have been using generally through the journal. I don't really at this stage want to be suddenly, you know, bringing in a whole bunch of other colours. Um, well, colours or themes. Um, I'd rather stick with, you know, what we've kind of been doing so far. So I'm just sort of having a look, seeing what else I've got. Got a fussy cut bird there. I'm just going to pull that out in case I need to sort of suddenly make make a tag or two. Okay, just see whether there's anything else in there that's neutralish. Okay, well, I mean, hopefully we've got a little bit now to get started with. I'm just pulling out anything else that's slightly neutrally you know that I think I could get away with putting in this journal so and then we'll you know just see how we get on I mean as I say I do find honestly that this for me I don't know about you guys when I make a journal and actually it used to be really really bad um I mean since making them touch wood the experience has improved but I can remember when I first started making them in particular literally it felt never ending like oh my gosh you know I'm still not full I'm still not full and I would feel like that all the time um trying to then brainwave you know I'm going to put these in my lap so I've got a bit more room here I have would you believe cleared my desk a little bit since the last video but clearly not enough let me just raise my camera slightly okay um yeah I can remember when I first started making journals especially and literally it would feel like never ending and I actually found it slightly overwhelming and um, yeah didn't really enjoy this part at all trying to make enough things to actually go into the journal you know it felt like oh my gosh I'm never ever going to finish so yeah thankfully I don't think I'm kind of at that stage anymore but I, you know, I do still have times where I do think, oh my gosh, you know, is this ever going to fill up? Um, right, so we'll just get filling. So this one's just a tag. I'm not going to even bother putting a, um, what, you know, a thingamajiggly in there because to be honest, you know, the journal's quite fat. Um, oh, well, let's, let's do put one on there because now I've said that, I feel a bit rubbish not doing that. So we'll just put put a hole in there and this is just a printed tag so of course it's just ready to go you know which is really nice so we'll just pull in a little hole reinforcer and things like you know even what to use as the 
the tabs and things themselves you know that can all take a lot of planning and you know finding something suitable so although it sounds like you know oh well you've only got to fill it now I do think sometimes that that's actually the biggest part of making the journal you know I don't know about you guys but I actually really enjoy the making of the journal and the decorating the filling of the pockets I would say it's you know it's probably still my least favorite part to be honest um, but yeah that might just be me I'd be interested to know whether you guys feel that way or not so here I've just got some ribbon which I just took literally off something else that was kind of store-bought piece that I've had in my little pot beside me for years so I'll just thread that through and I just thought colour wise this might look quite good on here so we'll just then tie that round like that that looks pretty doesn't it <clears throat> we'll just trim those down One. And two. Okay, so that's a bit better finished off, isn't it? I mean, I did go through a little phase where I think it was Artie Mays I'd seen doing the um, eyelash trim tied around the tops of the tags as well. So we could do a bit of that because that looks really pretty. I think she kind of used double. So let's try that. I can remember doing this before and actually finding it very fiddly. Oh yeah, no no less fiddly this time round. So let me cu cut this down. So all I'm doing is literally I've taken a tiny bit of eyelash trim and I have doubled up the length so it's, you know, like double thicknesses. Uh, th thickness, thickness, just double thickness. Um, so it's got like double the amount of eyelashes, I guess. And we just tie that round there and then I'm just going to tie it round the other way. So hopefully it will stay stay knotted. Okay, and we just then pull that tight. Hopefully that's actually tied around there. And then just trim that off. It just makes it a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Rather than just the ribbon. So I do really like that look and that's probably my favorite way that I've found to use the eyelash eyelash trim so far um, but it is you know I do find it a little bit on the fiddly side so I'm just going to pop that into the side pocket there <clears throat> and then in the top we want a reasonably sized piece because of course this is like that big pocket envelope so this this is one of those little pocket pieces so again every time that you make a pocket with a pocket Obviously, you know, they're really nice and, you know, I do really like them, but you have then got the issue of you're going to have to then put something in the pocket. So, you know, it's worth being aware of the more pockets that you do, you know, the more things to fill it you're going to have to find, which, and, and that's, I think, how it goes really, because I mean, obviously on this very first page, so this inside of the front cover, already I've had to do one, two, and now three and room four, four separate pieces. So you can see how really it, you know, um, oh, what's the word? Well, it soon grows, you know, the number of things that you need soon does actually grow, um, you know, until it does get quite, A, the journal gets quite fat and full, but B, obviously, it takes a long time to actually make everything you're going to need to put in. So I'm going to just slip that into the front pocket. Yep. Okay, so that goes in there really nicely. I'm still undecided whether I do want to put anything up there. I don't mind it as it is, but yeah, I'm just debating. So in this one, I've already put in a little flippy pad that I just made. So that just goes in there. I think that's really nice. However, I do have a pocket here now. So, you know, the never ending pocket scenario. So I just made a little, you know, flip down just from some scraps of paper and just a stamped sort of image that I've used as a little closing stopper. And I can just tuck that in there. I'm just checking that it's not going to just get lost. I mean, obviously if it goes in that way, 
it's going to be pushed in, possibly never to be found again. So I might be better off using something else. Let me just see what else I've got. And obviously, you know, it does need to be something the right size because, you know, it needs to fit in that pocket and, you know, not, not get lost. So that in itself, again, is a bit of another struggle because no matter how many pieces you've got, I just think you've never got the right piece, you know. I mean, even that, that would slip straight in. So I might just leave that and, you know, we'll see how we get on. Okay, so up here I've got, you know, a nice roomy cor corner pocket and I've got the full length of the page. So, I mean, hopefully I really don't have to be so fussy about what I put into there because I've got the whole page length and things. This here is a little um, pocket tag, a uh, belly band, belly band tag that's already made and it's just clipped on. So that's really great. I don't need anything for there. This, we've got a pocket in here. So again, we just need to find the right thing to pop in there. So again, I'm just going to take one of these, um, you know, ready printed printable, because that's the other thing is obviously depending on the pockets, Sorry, I know that's making that horrible noise now. Let me just bring my my book page stack to stand that on because otherwise I know lots of people really hate that noise. Well, I mean, no one probably likes it, but I don't want to obviously be, you know, making a really horrible noise that some people really can't bear. Um, yeah, that's another thing is obviously depending on the type of pocket depends on really the type of thing that you're going to be able to put into it. So for instance, this one, it's just quite a flat pocket. So, you know, I wouldn't be able to put anything really, really bulky in that pocket. In fact, I can't even put anything flat in there. There we go. Um, because that pocket wouldn't take it. So again, that's another thing it's worth bearing in mind when you're making all your things to stuff your pockets with. You know, I don't know, yeah. I didn't think that was going to fit in there either for a minute. So I'll just pop that one in there. Again, this is that large floating pocket. And as you can see, I mean, this is huge. So we can fit something much bulkier into here. So again, if I just have a look through, you know, what I've got here to the side of me. So, I, well, actually, I don't really want to have that, I think, so. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and I just think you've never got quite, quite the right thing. So, and I, this is just, you know, point, point in case or yeah that I don't seem to have quite the right thing but I'm going to just pop that little printable in and that's just one of my freebie downloads on my website just some sort of vintage invoices then we go over now this again is another one of those sort of pockets there so again you can't have anything too too big because it's not going to sit happily in that pocket so I'll just see whether I've got anything here to go in there I don't think even that's going to fit no nope. so now I'm wishing I'd done that as a little tuck spot to be honest because then I would maybe have a little bit more you know breathing space did I put anything in there oh no that's just a flip down that's fine um, but again that's not going to actually fit into that pocket this little envelope which I think I talked about this in an earlier video it was one of the first things I ever coffee dyed and just you know screwed it up and um, you know I thought you really had to go to town kind of doing it and um, yeah it's really dark coffee and things but you know it looks fine on this journal and what I'm going to do I think actually I just spotted this on my desk so I'm just going to fussy tear around this flower and then we'll just ink it up and hopefully might be able to stick this somewhere on that envelope or that flip flip down envelope because it just really picks up the um, image that's on that pocket so we'll just come round like that Yeah, I'd love to hear below what's your favourite parts of making a journal and what are your worst parts, you know? I mean, are there bits that you think, oh gosh, now I've got to do that? I mean, I have to say I'm not over keen on binding the journals. Um, you know, I find that very fiddly, although not as bad as I used to. 
and then yeah probably I used to not really like decorating the covers I don't mind that now um, so for me it's probably yeah the uh, binding them and then filling them with all the bits and pieces so that's kind of my my two worst parts of the journals okay so I'm just going to glue that down and it just sort of helps to bring it all together a little bit more doesn't it oops I've picked up the wrong glue now hold on the glue that doesn't want to play I picked up by mistake so just swap I mean I know I've talked before but I mean I absolutely love doing the ring bound journals because they're very um you know flexible in what you can put in them you don't have to worry about things being too fat and too bulky and things like that because of course they can expand and expand um i mean you know of course obviously putting things into pockets it's still the same issue you've got to make sure things fit into the pockets but i just feel like things can be slightly bulkier in the first place so um yeah i really do love the the ring bound ones um, I quite like altered books, although I have to say I have not done an altered book for ages and ages. And I noticed the other day Gail doing an altered book. Sorry, I'm looking for my scissors now. I have to use my spare pair. Um, I noticed the other day Gail was doing an altered book and I thought, wow, I've not done one for ages. You know when you just kind of, you know, for no rhyme or reason, but you just haven't done something for ages. So I must get back on to, um, to doing them because I do really love them. So in this one, I've got a pocket here. Obviously, I've already put this photograph in. I don't know whether I'm going to leave that photograph, actually. I might use something else. Again, we'll try this. I don't know whether this will fit. I don't think it will fit widthways into the page. Let's see what else we've got. I've actually got this um, kite, which I'd made this during the 3 and 30 um, alphabet challenge for K for kites. And I thought this would be lovely in this journal. Oh. We could maybe even stick this on a page, you know. It's a little, you know, um, not flippy pat, but little opening and you've just got some journaling space there. And I really loved making it. And, um, you know, I was convinced that I was going to make them all the time. And then like all these things, you kind of forget that you've made them and, um, you know, don't end up making them again. But I'm just thinking whether I could actually attach this somewhere to a page. Just see if I've got any other pages. It would have looked nice there, but not with that bird as well. Aha! Look, I knew that I had a page here without... It just, uh, yeah, that page was completely unfinished. How that passed me by, I have no idea, but for some reason it had. So that looks really nice on there, doesn't it? Right, let's see. I might put some doily or something behind it, because otherwise it looks a little bit little bit plain on the page so you see even now I thought my journal was pretty much finished and still it wasn't you know there was still more stuff to do and that's the thing I think you know they really are yeah you know, they really do take an incredible amount of filling you know they're never quite quite enough stuff in them Oh, I don't know whether that really is right there. I feel like I need some more green on here because, um, you know, that green there. I wonder whether we could have anything else green. Or I've got this doily, which is a much darker green. That may be better. Let's just try that. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's have that like that. Let's just pop the doily down. And then, of course, I'm not going to stick the kite down as a pocket or anything like that. I'm just going to have it sort of flat onto the page, but just pop that like that. Yeah, I remember making those kites and I absolutely loved them. I thought it was so sweet. So, um, yeah, I must must make some more actually because they really are cute 
and very fun. Okay, this was not my idea making the kites. It was from Emily from Emma Femmer's Treasures. I think I saw her. I think she'd done a whole kite journal, if I recall. And um, oh, it was very, very nice. And obviously, I was struggling to come up with something for K, the letter K. And so when I saw her kite journal, I thought, oh, K for kites, perfect. Right, so we've got that there. Now I'm just wanting to put something green, I think, somewhere on that page because it needs something, you know, green, bringing in the green from the other side, I think. So what about that? I'll just again, just ink this up. Oops. Well, perhaps we'll have it on the kite. That's better, isn't it? Okay. Okie dokie, right. Whoa! Spinning round that um, butterfly was. So, right, I like that. So we've made a decision, didn't take too long. Now, do we want a little bit of lace anywhere? So again, I've got some more of that green, green lace here. Just chop that down. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, I think we might have to have a lace-free, lace-free page. I do want something here, but I, I don't know what what it needs. So I'm going to leave that corner blank for the minute, and then I can have a think about it in slow time. Because sometimes, you know, you can rush to put something, and then. You know really regret it and wish you hadn't done that so we're going just back so had we got to there 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 we've done that one right we've just got to this page here that's it okay so again let's see what we've got got this gorgeous tag which i absolutely love not sure that that's quite right in there but oh that's not bad actually going to check that we don't want that tag somewhere else because I really do love how that tag looks and um, you know I don't want it sort of I was going to say hidden away but of course it wasn't hidden away in that burst in blue envelope was it so that probably is the best best place because actually everywhere else it will be it will be hidden away yeah I think unless I have it there no I'm going to I'm going to put it in here so, yeah, I love that tag. I need to make some more of these tabs as well. So that's going to be on my to-do list to um, make some more tabs. I love having those tabs, I must say. Again, I know that, you know, we talked about it when I made them, that I'm sure I'm the last person to catch on with how to make those tabs. But honestly, it's been a bit of a game changer for me because, um, you know, I didn't really know how to make them. And um, yeah, now that I've kind of practiced and I love making them. Right, again, so I'm just going to put a little tag, you know, printable in that pocket. So can just ink it up at the back. Okay, and I'm just going to pop that in like that. Okie dokie, and over we go. And so now we've got this envelope, which I've already made a little something to put in there, so that's all fine. So then we've got this envelope here, which obviously this has got the window. So it would be nice to have something that's kind of pretty through the window. I don't know whether we'll be able to, you know, because sometimes it's just by luck that things do, you know, are visible in the window, and sometimes they're just not. Mm -hmm. No, nope, he's not going to be visible. <laughs> he's not going to be visible and he's not going to fit. So clearly not that piece. I've got this. Again, let's try this. So obviously that's huge for that envelope because it's jutting out, you know, a mile. But, uh, you know, I don't dislike it. So we could have that. I've also got this journaling card that I made, so... Perhaps that would be better. 
I wonder if we could just trim it down this side. Just trim it slightly so that that bird is, you know, more visible through that window. Hopefully that's straight-ish, it's not brilliant. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is just getting worse and worse now. Okay, right, we now have a skinny, skinny journaling card and it's just got a little bit of a gap there. Okay, right. Is that going to fit now? Well, I don't know what I've done now. It doesn't fit. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the bird visible. So that's nice, isn't it? So, oops, going over again. Oops. Sorry, just getting rid of the glue threads that are now hanging on the page. So now we've got this little glassine bag. So again, it's quite tiny. So, you know, what I'm thinking now is, why didn't I make tinier things, obviously, that would have fitted in here a little bit better. So we can fit that in, so that's really good. And what, what should we put? Let's have a look, we could have this in here. Oh my gosh, come out. Oh no, I can't open the bag, oh my gosh. Honestly, do you sometimes just have days like this? Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> when you're doing things on camera and you're trying to get them to open. Okay, and this we had as a tuck spot. So a tuck spot is, you know, much more flexible than a pocket because of course you don't have to worry about things not fitting in so, so much because you've got the whole, you know, the whole thing moves out so you can fit a lot more in them. Um, I go through phases weirdly. Sometimes I seem to do more, you know, tucks and sometimes more pockets, but yeah, I mean, generally actually, I think tuck spots are better because I think you've got more versatility. So um, I must try and remember that myself. And then I've just got this little, no, that's not going to fit. Am I going to get this in there? Oh my gosh, even that doesn't fit, would you believe? What about this one? Okay, right, so we've got that one. And then going through, we've got this little one, which again is another little window envelope. So now I'm going to struggle with anything to sort of show up in that window. So again, I've got one of those tiny tags. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly ink this up. And then we will, you know, that will then be visible. So my husband and my daughter have just got back. They've just been dropping my son off at work, my middle son. So, um, yeah, my video might be cut short in a moment because she's going to run upstairs saying, Oh, mummy, remember you said? <sighs> so yesterday's push, remember you said you were playing Jenga? Today I actually, my remember you said, was buying her some sweets, which we've already done. But no doubt, I've probably said something else that I can't remember. She will remember, of course she will. <laughs> of course she will remember, because children do, don't they? A girls especially, I think. They never forget. So you can never make a promise to a girl and then, you know, not do it, because they never let you forget. So I might just have that in there and then going over. So here again, this is a tuck spot, it's a glassine bag. So again, you know, I can be a lot more generous because it's a tuck spot. So I don't have to find something that's really titchy. Although, to be honest, I'm now at the stage I'm running out of pieces, which is a bit of a shame. So I've got this, which has been decoupaged. Now, again, for me, this feels like a bit of a stretch because this to me does not go with the journal however I do like the green with the green um, yeah I mean I don't know I see other people do things like this in their journals all the time and I love it when I try and do things like this I kind of forever feel a bit like oh that doesn't really go and actually would you believe it's still too long so what I might do is have to trim that down slightly whether it will actually go down enough might not it might not let's just take that down slightly either side Oops. okay let's have a check. 
horribly, horribly wonky now. It's not too bad, actually. And I'll just pop that in there. So, I mean, it's overhanging a little bit, but not so much as it was. Um, and then I've got the belly band here, which, again, I might just pop this in here. I mean, again, this has got the red on, but then so has this. So I feel like, you know, I can get away with that a little bit more. Um, then we have a pocket here, which again, I'm not sure I've now really got anything much to go in there. So I might have to make something. And here, here again, let's see if I've got anything just to go in there. Not sure. I made this, um, which again, I was going to put in the journal, but then I've kind of run out of um, places to put things actually, unless I put it on here which actually doesn't look too bad. Let's just check. So it would obviously hang over and then it would be there. Now oh, that's quite nice actually. Hmm, that is quite nice. And I could always paper clip the large journaling card somewhere else. Let's do that. Okay, I'm being quite adventurous now. So this is Tim Holt's packaging. Um, can't remember from what but some of his ephemera it might have been the paper dolls I think actually so that's all this has been made from and then you lift it up obviously and you know you can then journal on there so press that down okay so yep I need to now just either make a couple more things or dig out a couple more journaling cards so I will have a look through my stash again um, you know, so I mean, it really goes to show, doesn't it? I had that huge bundle of stuff and still it wasn't quite enough to actually fill the whole journal. So, I mean, it's pretty shocking, I think, how much stuff you really do need. Um, you know, I don't think there's any sort of set number, unfortunately, because all journals tend to be different. But I'm just always incredibly surprised at how much, <laughs> you know, how much it really does take to fill a journal. Um, so yeah, let me know if you also feel the same as me and, you know, are kind of constantly flabbergasted how much, um, it really does take to fill one. And, um, yeah, obviously the next thing that I have to do is the cover. I will probably do the cover in slow time, um, rather than on camera. Um, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So if I don't do the cover with you guys, then obviously I'll be back with the flip through. So yeah i hope you like how it's coming along as you can see it's massive now absolutely huge and it's definitely not you know not closing in fact it's probably well gigantic isn't it look um but yeah it may mean i may need to rearrange some of my stuff slightly i'm not sure or that may be this piece i'm not sure i'll have to have a look through um but you know i quite like them really stuffed like that so I, no, I don't mind. Um, anyway, I hope that you found something helpful there and uh, I will see you guys again soon. Thanks then. Bye. <laughs>